Hello and welcome to Daily Red video. In this video, we will see the quick preview of uh, Parallels Desktop 10, which is a Mac application, a virtualization software uh, that helps you to install Windows, Linux, and many other operating system inside your Mac computer. So uh, there, are, there are free alternatives like VirtualBox, and uh, there is another premium product, which is uh, VMware Fusion. Uh, but you know compared to that parallels makes it uh, totally easier for you to install multiple operating systems inside your Mac so it supports older older Macs and uh, latest Mac uh, books iMac and Mac mini uh, computers as well so uh, it is a $80 application and if you are upgrading from previous version you have to pay just $50 so let's explore the features quickly so here I have installed Windows 7 and Kali Linux which is a security distribution um, so similar to this uh, you can install Ubuntu and Debian and many other uh, Linux operating systems seamlessly with Parallels Desktop 10. So the latest version 10 released uh, almost four to five months ago and it has so much power packed features. Uh, it is kind of an all-in-one visualization software for your Mac application. So here uh, I have successfully booted uh, inside Windows and I'll still be able to access all the Mac applications inside Windows. I can drag and drop files from my Mac uh, desktop or from my Mac hard drive to Windows and uh, uh, I can do the uh, the opposite side also. So if I want to drag some Windows folders or files to my Mac desktop, I can simply drag and drop it easily. The three finger swipe from uh, uh, left to right will uh, help me to uh, navigate back to Mac desktop. And again, uh, from right to left will help me back to uh, get back to the Windows. So uh, the mission control, you know, will help you to easily navigate to uh, between the desktops. So uh, while I'm running Windows 7, uh, it is also possible to run another uh, Windows 8 uh, edition, uh, you know, simultaneously without any conflict or any hiccups, slowdown or hangs, anything, nothing will happen. And Parallels also sub, uh, run uh, very smoothly on MacBook Air, uh, latest generation and previous generation models. Um, it has some minimum uh, hardware requirements, uh, but mostly, you know, it optimizes itself to run uh, seamlessly on uh, uh, even with minimum hardwares. So you will not find any uh, slowdowns or hangs uh, while using Windows, Linux, and uh, any other operating system. So here you can see the controls. Uh, you can control the parallels uh, from your Mac uh, menu bar. You can shut down the operating system right from your Mac, and um, you can easily access. So this Windows version copy, uh, you know, uh, the, the first time you install Parallels Desktop 10, uh, it will prompt you with uh, Installation Wizard. Uh, which will help you to insert the CD or pen drive which has the Windows uh, 7 or Windows 8 edition in, in it. But uh, I have installed Windows in Bootcamp and I have just selected the Bootcamp version and it automatically migrated to um, the version you know which I will be able to use it inside my Mac. So I don't have to do a separate installation if I already have as I already have uh, it installed on uh, in Bootcamp uh, in Apple Bootcamp method. As you can see, there is no uh, slow at all, so it works uh, excellent on my MacBook Pro 13-inch 2011 model. The latest version is OS X Yosemite compatible and uh, uh, it has all the uh, additional features like automatically enhancing the storage to make it compatible for you to use with uh, Windows uh, you know, storage. and. Uh, um, it has some additional tools which will help you to access uh, the uh, remote desktop uh, from your iPad to, uh, which if you have installed Ma Windows in your MacBook Pro then you can easily access the Windows from your iPad. Uh, it has plenty of other features. Uh, you can explore it uh, you know, from the description, uh, the link attached in the description of this video. And you can customize, you know, uh, you can uh, choose how much disk storage, RAM, processor should be allotted for each uh, operating system uh, in the panel, settings panel. Thanks for watching and feel free to drop any questions if you have. Uh, have a wonderful day.